Hey, hey, welcome back to another active campaign engagement tracking tutorial. So last week I showed you how you could accomplish engagement tracking using tags in active campaign. Um, and that's super useful if you're on their light plan, which I think most of you probably would be. Um, but there is another way to do it and that's using lead scoring, which is on, which is available on their plus professional or enterprise plans. And it might be a slightly more elegant solution just because there's more flexibility with it, but um, I'll show you how it works and you can decide for yourself if it's best for you or not. So let's get right into it and I'll cover the scenario first. Okay, so you have an evergreen newsletter that sends out an email every Monday and you notice that open rates and click rates are declining and want to do something about it. You come up with the idea to build an automation that checks to see if subscribers have clicked any links in the past four emails they've received. If they have clicked on a link, you continue sending as normal. And if they have not, then you ask them if they're still interested in receiving your emails. Um, and then at that point, if they say they are interested, you continue sending as normal. And if they don't respond, you just remove them from the newsletter. So let's take a look at how we can do this using lead scoring. So the first thing you'll want to do is head over to the contact section, click on manage scoring and set up a new score. And the nice thing about active campaign is that you can have different scores to measure uh, different areas. So the first one I've already created, but let's go into that. So I called it newsletter engagement score and I have link clicks as the, the title. And in terms of the condition, I have if the contact is in the list newsletter subscribers. So basically, if they subscribe to the newsletter, it gives them one point. And the main purpose of this is that it will just add this score to their profile and start them off with that one point. Now let's take a look at our evergreen newsletter automation. So this will be pretty standard. Um, all that's happening here is if someone subscribes to your newsletter list, it adds them to this evergreen newsletter automation. Um, and I'll explain this in a second, but basically they would get added to, added to the automation. It will wait until Monday, send the first email, wait a couple days so it doesn't send the next email right away, wait until Monday and send the next email and so on and so forth. Um, but what we have interesting here is I've added this adjust a score uh, action to add 100 points to the contact score right after they get added to this automation. So if we walk it, if we walk through it, someone subscribes to your newsletter, gets added to the automation, got their first point initially, and now gets their 100 welcome points, I like to call it. So they'll have 101 welcome points. Now from here, oh, the one thing I meant, uh, meant to mention is these points expire after four weeks. And this is why. So let's say they join your newsletter, they get their one point, their 100 points, but then they don't click anything for the four emails, those 100 points will expire and they'll be back down to one point. And so that's where we want to filter them out of the newsletter or at least ask if they want to remain uh, or at least uh, remain receiving emails. So let's say they get the 100 points, don't click on, e on anything for four weeks, they go back down to one point. This would trigger our uh, pruning automation. So this starts when a contact score changes to below two and you can pick the exact score. And I have this run multiple times also. It exits the newsletter automation and sends them an email asking if they're still interested in receiving uh, the newsletter. If they don't do anything, it just ends this automation and they don't receive any more newsletter emails. However, if they say they are still interested by clicking on a, clicking on a link within this email, that's where this trigger comes into play and they'll basically start this automation all over again. So they'll say they're still interested they'll receive their 100 welcome points again, 
And then just so they don't continue or start off from the beginning and continue where they left off, you can use Active Campaign's goals. So this will jump people right down, uh, right down the automation. So for example, let's say they've already received the first email and we don't want them to get that again then we can set up the goal to skip them to this spot in line based on whether they've received the first email and I also set it so that they have to have a score greater than 100. And the reason I put this in is so if someone here says they're still interested, gets added here, I want to make sure they collect that 100 points to their profile otherwise they'll be still at that one point and basically go into this pruning automation again okay now let's take a look at the second case which would be they click on links within emails so if we go to I think it's this automation we can call this newsletter add link click or a newsletter oh, I meant to call this add points or add link click points, sure that works. <laughs> um, if they click a link in any of the newsletter emails, that will add 25 points to their score. And 25 points is kind of an arbitrary number, but my rationale behind it is if they click one link per email for each of the four, or per, <laughs> per email which sends out once per week for four weeks, then the baseline score will kind of be 100 points. So when they click a link, they get the 25 points. And all this does really is keep them above one point. And so we set the expiry for four weeks also. But like I said, we just we don't want them to get triggered by the pruning automation, which is when they fall below two points. So this will add 25 points, which will last for another four emails. And that will keep them receiving the newsletter. So I think that's just about it. Um, I apologize if that was a little bit confusing, but hopefully you got the gist. Um, and be sure, be sure to let me know in the comments if you found this helpful or if there's something I missed or if you need clarification on something. There's also the article on the Can't Wait Till Monday blog, which will have the text rundown of it also. So thanks for watching and talk to you soon.